New game modes coming to Clash Royale. Is it a touchdown or more of an extra point? What's up, fellow fans of Clash Royale? That's right, you guys know it's update season. The update information is pouring out and we've got all sorts of new stuff coming. Now this is beyond what most people could have ever envisioned as something to be added to Clash Royale. Uh, it is very cool. It almost opens up a completely different game, but with the same mechanics. I like it. The question is, is it going to hold people's attention for a long period of time, or is this just going to be a quick fad? Will it be even better than 2v2, or is it too similar to 2v2 that it just won't be quite as exciting? Uh, it's hard to say at this point. I, Based upon what I've seen as far as community reaction, it is definitely mixed. So I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments as far as, is this an extra point? Is it a field goal? Is it a touchdown? Or is this a uh, safety? I, I don't know. I'm really curious to hear what the average to the hardcore Clash Royale fan thinks of this new mode. Now, I'm playing it here with a few other YouTubers and we have had a pretty good time. I've got BFA, Dizzy Axe, Dragon Steak, and Clash on Gone all playing with me in today's video. And I gotta admit, it's a blast. It is fun, it is different, but the question is how much different and how long will it hold its luster as a new game mode? Now obviously, with this sneak peek, this update, there are more things coming than just touchdown. They are adding these bonus rewards for 1v1 arena battles and of course the gold rush and gem rush where you are going to see gold rush appear first. And it's one of those things where every time you take down a tower, you earn gold up to a certain limit. And it's going to be the same with gems. Uh, we'll see when that comes out. That should be interesting. Just another way to give players a little bit more as far as rewards. But I really think they're on the right track as far as adding new game modes and not just new rewards. In order to keep Royale evolving and players interested, I do feel like they need to keep adding things like this and constantly improving the balance, the user interface, and of course bringing us new cards, new and very different cards. Really looking forward to whatever cards they're going to bring to the game that are going to be completely unique from anything else because it just adds such a wild new factor to the game. Kind of like the Mega Knight. Really loving the Mega Knight. And you know what's strong here though? Obviously, and we've heard about this, the Battle Ram. A lot of people think it's practically broken right now. It is so strong. Check out the Battle Ram going for the touchdown. And it pushes the Witch right out of the way. And we pick up the second crown. Now you'll notice that this is a three crown kind of deal, but it's also timed. So it's going to go to three crowns or to time first. Here we've got the final 15 seconds. The Expo on defense, I don't know, I guess it sort of works. No lanes, no towers. I am liking it, but again, the question is how long is it going to be fun? Now, in addition to the gem rush, to the gold rush, to the new rewards for 1v1, to this touchdown mode, you've got some new and interesting options. Now, not new taunts, but you do have this end of the game chat right here. Check this out. Uh, some interesting messages. So you can talk back and forth and I don't know. I mean, look at these. There's a lot of different messages you can send and it looks like the Clash Royale team has found a way to make some messages that aren't pure bad manners. Now, will this keep me interested or will I be playing a little bit more of... Yeah. Player Unknown Battlegrounds, you guys. This is from a recent live stream. This game, definitely different. And uh, here I've got the guy up on the hill. He's hiding by his truck. Check this out. Frag grenades. I did not expect this to happen, uh, but this is typical of a Galadon stream. Wait for it. Third grenade. <laughs> no way! Yes! Woo! I can never get over that kill. That was so epic. And uh, if you guys are interested, there is the streaming schedule at the bottom of your screen. Stop by anytime I stream on Mixer.com. And uh, I do, I'm still streaming a lot of Clash Royale and Clash of Clans, but I'm also squeezing in more and more other games. Player Unknown Battlegrounds, the first PC game I've played in a long time. 
and having a lot of fun playing that game. Now I have to tell you, that was not a paid advertisement, not an endorsement for the game. I've never been reimbursed, paid anything to play that game. That is just one I play out of the sheer fun of it. And it, it is a lot of fun, especially on Mixer, because I can play with my friends. We can co-stream in teams of two, three, or four players at the same time. Uh, and I'm getting better. And now I'm thinking about uploading highlight reel videos to YouTube from Player Unknown Battlegrounds. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, I'm also, believe it or not, starting to play Grand Theft Auto, uh, the roleplay version of Grand Theft Auto, on a PC. So let me know what you think. Not on PC, I'm playing that on the Xbox. I'm playing that on the Xbox. So let me know what you think about that one as well. Uh, I Again, I want to keep on playing different stuff, you guys. Of course, it's fun to see different game modes in my favorite games, Royale and Clash of Clans, but everybody needs a variety, and that's the thing, you guys. I mean, I realize that there's a lot of you out there that love Clash Royale or you love Clash of Clans, but how many of you play one game and that's all you play? Now, there are some guys out there, maybe some pro players in Royale, that that makes sense, that they would only play one game all the time, but then it becomes a task, it becomes a job, and I don't want a job, okay? Every now and then in the comments, somebody says, Galadon, you're old, go get a job. No, I don't want a job. Have I made that clear yet? I want to do this. This is too much fun, okay? And it's like they say, do what you love and never work a day in your life. And again, I, I know I've said this before. I have you guys to thank for that. Thank you very much, those of you that are positive, those of you that keep coming back, that are watching. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, you guys have enabled me to do what I absolutely love for a living. So here we are. And right now, as of this moment, I am loving playing Touchdown. I have to admit, it is wild, it is very different, and it being so fresh, I feel like I'm still kind of learning what works and how to do different strategies with Touchdown, so it does make it interesting and different to try to work on that. And I will tell you that this isn't all of the update information. There is more stuff coming, uh, including some things that many of us YouTubers might not even pick up on. So I'm counting on you guys, the viewers out there, to uh, try to pick up on some of the things that are going to be happening uh, in the coming update. It is going to be very, very soon, and it is definitely going to be a lot of fun. I will be back in with both my maxed out level 13 account and my level 1 account, two opposite ends of the spectrum, and uh, balancing it with all of the other games that I'm currently playing. And uh, I mean, why even throw a taunt or an emote at the end right here when you can pop in to the conversation and give them a follow your heart. I need to reflect. <laughs> all right, so one more battle. This time it is going to be me and Clash on Gone versus Dizziax and BFA. And I gotta tell you, am I undefeatable at this game? I feel like I cannot possibly lose if for some reason you happen across another YouTube channel, there are some great YouTubers here that I've been playing with, and they claim that they beat me, and they show you a video where it looks like I may have lost. Just remember, lots of people out there, especially recently, have been impersonating yours truly. Uh, fake Galadons are all over the place, and probably fake Galanoobs also, so don't even consider those a possibility. All right. So Clash on Gone and myself, uh, I hear also the Mega Knight is super, super strong uh, in the uh, touchdown mode. Nice freeze spell right there, but the Mega Knight not going to get there this time. The Valkyrie does a good job of stopping him. Uh, it's really funny watching the way people play this, trying to push down the far left edge of the battlefield, down the far right edge. These decoys, sometimes massive groups of troops can get together. Right here, it looks like the Lumberjack's going to get there. Just stopped by the bats. That was a close call. And you're going to find a lot of the double counter problems as well uh, in this mode as we did in regular 2v2, where unless the teammates are communicating real time, you are going to see these errors and these mistakes where players end up double countering lots of different situations. Now the balloon, I feel like, is a great card right here. Poison works out pretty well right on the princess and a bunch of the goblins are going to eat it as well. Balloon looks like it's going to get there, frozen in time. And that is another thing about touchdown mode. You'll see a lot of times where it seems like the battle's over. It seems like the opponent has absolutely no chance and it'll be a last moment turnaround. 
Uh, the other thing that's weird to get used to is watching a unit come down the field at you, and you're thinking, oh, it's almost out of hit points. My tower's going to finish it off. <laughs> There's no such thing. So the defensive structures become extra critical because you're always going to have to defend against anything that's coming towards you, even a single elixir skeleton with one hit point left. All right, on the left-hand side, here comes the battle ram. So dangerous, but the Mega Knight doing a great job as long as we can stop it. Just barely, the wizard basically body blocks that last barbarian. Poison spell over here is going to work on the princess and the goblins. You can see all of us using siege here to try to slow things down. This battle is close, but they just can't stop me. I don't know what it is. Maybe I finally found a game mode that I'm good at. That's probably more my teammates that I have to thank for this than me. But right here, big group of three musketeers. Now, another interesting mechanic is the fact that you cannot split units anymore. You can't split the three musketeers. You can't split barbs or any other group of units. They're going to stay together unless some other mechanic causes them to pull apart. They're going to naturally stick together. And that really, I feel, reduces the value of the three musketeers significantly because obviously fireball zap, lightning, and especially the rocket now with the Three Musketeer card is an easy, simple counter. So we're gonna see less and less Three Musketeers and more and more of what? I don't know. But Galadon wins along with Clash on Gone with the balloon that time and uh, popping into the chat as always. But again, let me know if you guys wanna pop into the chat with me on Mixer or maybe in one of my Clash Royale clans or Clash of Clans clans. Let me know. I am spreading out my gaming time as best as possible and I appreciate you guys spreading out your viewing time and spending a little time on my channel. I do appreciate it. Being here at the end makes you a Galafam member. Have a great day, you guys. I want you to be positive. Remember, appreciate every moment of every day. And if you have a moment in tomorrow's day, come back again for more full attacks. I appreciate every moment of every day, especially the ones when you're out of town.